Okay, I'm going to make a short presentation about Tugse and Rigafede disease. Tugse stands for traumatic ulcerative granulation with stromal eosinophilia. It exhibits a deep pseudoinvasive inflammation reaction and is typically slow to resolve, lasting for a week to eight months. Tugse occur in people of all ages with a significant male predominance. Most have been reported on the tongue, but other areas of oral cavities are also reported. Ulceration may present with a rolled white border of hyperkeratosis immediately adjacent to the area of ulceration. On occasion, underlying proliferative granulation tissue can result in a raised lesion similar to pyogenic granuloma. Histopathologic feature of this condition will be an ulceration covered by a fibrinoprolate membrane that consists of fibrin intermixed with neutrophils. The ulcer bed consists of granulation tissue that supports a mixed inflammatory infiltrate of lymphocytes, histiocytes, neutrophils, and occasionally plasma cells. Inflammatory infiltrate extends into the deeper tissues and exhibits sheets of lymphocytes and histiocytes intermixed with eosinophils. The vascular connective tissue deep to the ulceration may become hyperplastic and cause surface elevation. Subset of Tugse may present with CD30 positive T lymphocytes. Now I will show a set of photos from a case report. A large ulcer of the dorsum of the tongue with raised rolled borders. One week post biopsy and two months after biopsy with a good healing. A histological slide of H and E stain shows inflammatory infiltration composed of eosinophils, histiocytes, and lymphocytes. Rigafede disease is considered a variation of a traumatic eosinophilic ulceration. It typically appears between one week and one year of age, presenting traumatic ulceration of anterior ventral surface of the tongue. This is a condition often develops in association with natal or neonatal teeth. Another set of photos from a case report, a three centimeter deep ulceration on the anterior ventral tongue and it's not a clear image, but eosinophil infiltration. And this is a high power view of eosinophil that is seen right here. Interestingly, Tugse resolves after biopsy. Interlesional cortical steroid injection seems logical treatment considering that there is the underlying inflammation, but no reports were found. Rigafede disease is treated by removing the local traumatic factor, lower anterior neonatal teeth, by smoothening it, covering, or even extraction is considered in a severe cases. Thank you for listening to my presentation.